Two years ago, I built this outdoor shower in our backyard, and I have to say it might be my favorite thing I've built. In the summer, we use it every day. In fact, we haven't used our indoor showers in months. If you wanna see how I built it, I have a link to the build video below, including a link to the build plans if you'd like to build your own. When I built it, I only plumbed it with one line for cold water, which is perfect for us down here in Central Texas with very hot summer days. But fall has literally just arrived here, and this usually marks the end of our cold water outdoor shower season until now. I'm finally adding hot water to our outdoor shower. And this is a super easy off-grid addition that anyone can make. Let me show you how. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. This is gonna be our heat source. So this is a tankless propane hot water heater and it comes with a rain cap. It comes with um, hoses if those are what you would like to use. Different fittings for the inlet and outlet for the water for the bottom, which we're totally gonna use. And bonus, this would also be really good to heat your stock tank pool if you're interested. And I forgot to mention the obvious propane connection. And speaking of the stock tank pool, every year at this time, as soon as fall arrives, we get a frog. The propane tank is going to mount right on the back side of the shower, which is convenient because this is where the inlet is for the water. And to mount it, I'm gonna screw a couple of two x four scraps to the outside that I'm gonna screw to the top and bottom horizontal two x fours. The two by fours are kicked out just a little bit at the top due to the overhang of the top cap. So I just cut a cedar trim scrap that I'm going to attach behind the bottom of these boards and that will plumb up these two by fours. Okay, this is secured to the shower frame and now I'm gonna add a couple of two by fours horizontally that are actually gonna hold the heater. To hang the heater, I'm going to use one of my favorite tape tricks. On the back side of the heater, there are three keyholes that I covered with one strip of tape. I can now poke holes in the tape at each keyhole, and then place my tape on the board right where I need my screw holes to be. Okay, let's see if I got it right. Cool. And then lastly, I can attach the rain cap for the exhaust pipe on the top and then remove the old inlet water connection for the cold water into the shower. I wanna take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. I'm a big advocate for prioritizing mental health and as this year comes to a close, it's a great time to get yourself set up for success in the new year with easy, accessible support from a BetterHelp therapist. For me personally, it's easy to struggle with anxiety while juggling everyday life and also running a business all by myself. On top of that, I have big goals. So therapy not only offers a safe space to work through challenges, but it also serves as a powerful tool for personal growth. It's been invaluable in helping me personally manage my stress and also stay on top of my big aspirations. I've found that in the past, finding a good therapist involved taking a shot in the dark with someone unknown or relying on word of mouth, but now with BetterHelp, it's so much easier. You can easily visit their site using my link, betterhelp.com slash makergray, fill out a quick questionnaire, and they will have you matched with a well-qualified therapist in as little as 48 hours. And one of the best features of BetterHelp is that if your therapist doesn't feel like the right fit, you can simply switch to another one until you find someone that feels like the right match. If you think therapy could also be helpful for you, click on my link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash makergray and you'll get 10% off your first month. And remember, utilizing therapy is a huge sign of strength and courage. Now let's get back to the build. Okay, the heater is hung. Now it's time to connect the lines. Let me show you what I'm going to use. For my setup, I'm going to use two short stainless steel water hoses, two garden hose quick connect fittings, two connection adapters that come with the heater kit. And by the way, don't forget to add the internal washers from the kit. One garden hose adapter in this specific configuration, pipe thread seal tape, and a tank of propane. 
Connecting the tank to the lines is super easy. It's really straightforward. We only have three lines to worry about on the bottom of the tank. One's gonna be the water in, one's gonna be the water out, and then lastly, we have the gas line. First thing I'm gonna do is take these two adapters that came with the heater kit and screw them to the inlet and outlet for the water ports on the bottom. On the inlet side, I'm gonna screw in one of these quick connects. And to screw it in, it helps if you go ahead and release one side so you can get a better grip on it. And then into the quick connect, I'm gonna take the male end of one of these water hoses and screw it in there. As I showed in my first video, the black hose from our backyard spigot is our water source. I'm now gonna connect that to the female end of the inlet water hose. On the outlet side, I'm not gonna do a quick connect. I'm just gonna take the hose, female side, and screw it right to this adapter. Now we can connect the other end of this outlet hose to the shower at this pipe here. Okay, this water line is three quarter and this pipe to the shower is half inch. So originally I used this reducer that went from three quarter to half inch and it worked okay, but now I know this isn't the right fitting because the threading isn't correct. So we're gonna toss that and this is where the garden hose adapter comes in. It has the right threading for the half inch pipe and on the other side, it has the right threading for the three quarter inch water hose. I'm gonna take my Teflon tape and wrap it around at least three times. That'll do it. And then take my adapter and screw it right on. I'm gonna take one more quick connect. Put that right into here. And then now my outlet water line can screw right into that. The last thing to do is to bring in the fuel. And the line that comes with the heater just attaches right to the five gallon tank. Okay, so now this is all set up and ready for heat and we're gonna test that out in just one second. But first, let me explain to you why I set it up the way that I did. So now that it's fall, we're gonna use this heater for the next three seasons until the heat of next summer comes back. And when that happens, I want to be able to bypass the heater and just go right back to just using cold water right off the tap. So to make it fast and easy, that's why I use those quick disconnects on the ends. So to bypass the heater, all I have to do is quickly disconnect the outline from the heater, disconnect the inline from the water source, and just bring that over and quick connect right onto the shower. Now it'll be just like I had it before, where the water hose line will just go right back into the shower, completely bypassing the heater. Okay, I put everything back together for heater mode. The outlet is back connected to the, the shower and the inlet is back connected to the water hose. Propane is on and I went ahead and coiled these behind there just to kind of take up some of the slack and get them off the ground. And real quick, I wanted to explain why I chose this setup for my shower. I could have just taken that black hose and run it right into the inlet port instead of having this silver line. Um, I chose to have the silver line just because it's more durable. It'll be better around the weed eater. In the past, I always had to watch out for the weed eater and make sure I didn't nick the hose and bust the line. But now this is gonna be much more durable and last longer and it just looks cleaner. On this side, I needed this line for sure because I didn't have a short line to go from here to there. Also, this one's rated for the heat because this line is gonna have the super hot water coming out of it and also durable, just like the other line. And again, it just looks really clean. Okay, I think we're ready to test it out. I turned the water on, it's coming in with this black hose here, traveling up here and there are no leaks. So, so far so good. And by the way, I forgot to mention it, but two D batteries go in right here, which is the ignition source. The water's on, the gas is on. All I should have to do now is walk into the shower and turn on the water spigot and the heater should kick on. Let's test it out.
I just heard it kick on. Wow, it's already warm. And now it's already hot. <laughs> that is so cool. What a difference. Hot water. So it's not really cold here yet. So an evening or morning shower when it's in the 70s is really nice when about 100 degrees. Um, the lowest I've been able to get it is about 96, 97, which is just warm. It's really pretty nice. 100, obviously a little bit warmer, but still warm, not hot. And then on some of the colder evenings or mornings we've had, I've turned it up to like 108, 110, and it pretty much is as hot as I want it. I may want it hotter as the winter goes on. But so far, those are really perfect temperatures. To adjust the temperature, you only have two knobs. They're super straightforward. This one adjusts the propane. This one adjusts the water flow. Um, if you want it on a lower setting, you need to have these turned to the left. And as you turn them to the right, the temperature will increase pretty rapidly. And just to get ahead of this question, yes, you could totally mount the heater on the inside of your shower and it would be more convenient to access the controls. But for us, we just prefer having the heater on the backside out of sight. Also, not having the temperature controls accessible is not a problem at all for us personally because when you set the temperature and then you turn off the shower, it's gonna be that same temperature when you go to turn it back on. And I touched on this before, but you could use this heater to heat your stock tank pool if it's nearby like mine is. And for that, your water source would be the existing pool water. You would have a pump, pumps the water into the heater and then out through the outlet right back into the pool. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a video on how that works. And lastly, yes, we still have inside showers that we still use, but there's just something about showering outdoors, especially when it's evening time and the stars have come out. I absolutely love it. Now we're super excited about being able to extend our outdoor shower season. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and I'll see you on the next project.